Hi guys, today I'm going to make a Midori style traveler's notebook out of leather. I love the flexibility of this system and just the concept in general, so I want to share how I made this. I'm going to go over making the leather cover, the paper notebooks and insert. So let's do it. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Order Channel. To create this, you'll need leather, a cutting mat, a square ruler, some way to cut the leather, a small hole puncher, mallet, elastic band, marking pencils, small ruler, and a razor blade. First of all, let's pick up some leather. I'm working with three different kinds here for three different books. Dark brown, which is more like the traditional Midori style, lighter brown, and veg tanned. A medium thick leather, about three to four ounce weight, is great. Now you can either find this at the leather store, however they also sell small pieces at the craft store, which would be great here. Now measure out and cut the leather. I am using a rolling cutter, however you could also use a regular razor blade or scissors, whatever you have on hand. Next I mark out the places for the holes right in the middle. In total I made five holes. For the elastic band, I got a good arm's length and cut that to size. Now, this is how I do this. I first fold the band in half and insert it in the middle of the book, leaving a loop on the other side. Then I pull each side through the holes, like so. <laughs> Make sure the loop in the back is still there. Then I insert a book and tie it tight. This is easy to adjust to make it tighter or looser, to make it fit perfectly. Of course, you need something to write on, so let's make a couple of notebooks. For that, you're going to need hard stock for the covers, paper, a paper cutter, large paper clips, a mallet, an awl, thread, a needle, and a razor blade. I decided to make three books. One blank, one lined, and one graph paper. I'm printing the lined and the graph on both sides on thin ivory paper and I'm using thicker 24 pound cotton paper for the blank book, for sketching. Making notebooks is super simple. I fold the paper in half, then I arrange them in bunches of three. Next is cutting the paper to size. I chose to make my books 118 by 240 millimeters. It's a lot easier to cut this to size with a good paper cutter. Once everything is cut, insert paper and hardstock, it's time to bind. And I'm using 12 sheets for my notebooks, but of course you can change that depending on how thick you want yours. So securing with paper clips then marking out where the holes should go, then punching through with an awl. Finally sewing the books together. I like to start in the middle, go to one side, go down, and overlap. Lastly, I clean the edge by putting a ruler down and lightly scoring a bunch of times with a razor blade. The trick is to have a sharp blade and not push too hard. Just do it over and over until the paper's all cut. And then you're ready to put the books in the cover. And to put additional books in, I simply tie another elastic band through two books. Then those two books can slip underneath the middle book and it's all held in place. I love the idea of a system, so I decided to make a little extra insert that could work as a wallet or just a pocket system for cards or whatever.
To do this, I first measured out some canvas the same size as one of the notebooks. I cut out smaller sections as well, one larger piece for each side and shorter sections for smaller pockets. And then I sewed it together. So a pocket section for one side with places for cards and a blank pocket on the other side. Then I connected the two side sections to the middle piece and sewed around the edges, leaving the pockets facing inwards open. I also added a little flap over the cards so nothing would fall out. And then that slips into the Midori book really easily. And you can use these pockets for receipts, money, your phone or whatever. So as you can see, this system is really very simple. And I love how you can have several books in one cover like this and switch them out as you need them. I also think a little insert like this is kind of cool and makes it even more functional. And I've been keeping receipts in here when traveling. And it's just nice to have some extra pockets. Now I am the kind of person that really likes to write things down on paper. <laughs> I think it really helps with my workflow to have something physical to always go back to. And I like how in a system like this I can have one book for sketches, one for lists, one for writing, etc. Now there really isn't much to this system, which is why I think it's so great to make it yourself. And of course you can either add to your existing system by making additional notebooks or a new cover to your existing books or you can start a brand new system. Either way, let me know what you think about this and thanks for watching guys. Bye.